Il Colosseo. I seek Pietro. He acts on stage, signore. One of my men will take you to him. Don't forget, I wear the black shirt. Protect me and wait for Pilot's call to the Centurion to strike. I must get to Pietro before he does. My God! My God! Why hast thou thus forsaken me? Merda. Which cross is Pietro's? Hark! Hark how he crieth upon Elijah to deliver him! Wait and we shall see whether Elijah dare come here or not. My thirst is great. My thirst is great. Yea, thou shalt drink no more! Back on your peril, it shall be. What I do, I may not. 
for his body, and buried shall he be. I shall help thee to take him down devotedly. Sir Pilate, special I thee pray a boon thou grant me as thou may. This prophet that is dead today, thou grant me his body. says that he is dead, him will I not dead. <sighs> you cannot say, Pietro. The wine he drank was poisoned. As I promised Cesare, I made doubly sure. I am not yet dead. I did not come here to kill you. He who is the cause of someone else becoming powerful is the agent of his own destruction. For an Assassin's Creed mission, this is pretty much cream of the crop. It's funny how many times it comes to this, really, where this grand idea of Ubisoft's games about assassinations keep getting hamstrung by the fact that they have to happen in sandboxes where the player has to sneak around everything. Maybe it's the bad AI, maybe it's the mechanics, I don't know why this is the best we usually get, but there it is, the murder of Micheletto Correa. He's some sort of amazing covert officer Cesare dug up to do all of his dirty work, like getting one of the Templar agents into Ezio's murderer guild and using that to blow up Monteregione. It's nice that we get a bit of backstory on this guy. It would have been nice to get more to get really invested in the guy, but this is a Ubisoft sandbox, so that's not going to happen. Basically, we find him beheading this guy that helped Ezio out with undercutting the Templar agents. He owed money to the banker earlier, and now that Cesare's power base is falling apart, it seems like he's starting to cut out his subversives at every opportunity. This includes one of Lucrezia's former lovers, Pietro, who happened to get cast in Jesus at the Colosseum Passion Play. It makes about as much sense as it sounds. To sneak in, Ezio steals some guard armor, gets into the Colosseum, figuring out the murdering Pietro plan. Ezio uses the armor and the play to sneak around the set by following stage cues given to him by his magic vision, and then stops Pietro's murder. Hooray! 
Except that it would be that if Mecoletto didn't take his job so damn seriously. Yep, Pietro's also been poisoned. Ezio lets Mecoletto go because he is truly Captain Numskull and saves Pietro for the aforementioned Castello key to keep his revenge plans earlier in the quest line. It wasn't exactly a super challenging assassination, but it gave us a good target and it was a bit creative. While it may not be challenging or satisfying to be the mealy mouth instruction follower, I'll give Brotherhood all the credit for at least having some interesting campaign missions that get away from the beat up, tail, delivery, murder template.